Hi, my name is Julie and welcome to the Glen Gardener. Um, today I am going to tackle a problem that I didn't want to find out was a problem, but after a lot of um, investigating around the garden, um, I now know that my beds have nematodes. They have the bad nematodes. And that's why I wondered uh, with my plants this season, they just were not thriving. Some of them just barely grew and definitely the production wasn't there. I thought maybe I needed to amend them with, you know, more bone mill or something like that. And so I did, I, I fertilized, I added what I thought the soil might be missing and, and nothing ha nothing changed. So um, the consensus is that you need to build your soil up. So even though I, I thought that I had done that um, and I need to do a lot more. So that is what this video will be about. Ooh, I do. Turn your camp your light off. From one side. Can you see it? And look, there's the eyeball. Okay, that's neat. Okay, all right, cool. I think, did it just, it's so dark. Yeah. But look how it, I, Yeah, I think that's rotten. Weird. I see the little black thing. Oh, okay. We're a day early. That one's got stuff going on. All right. Uh, something's going on. This one's nothing. No, it's got it's something, but it is it, it a lot of dark and a dot. Mm -hmm. This is one of the beds that has the bad nematodes, and I'm going to use a process called solarization. And what that is, is you cover the ground with clear plastic and you leave it to bake in the sunshine for about four to six weeks. And by doing this, the heat that is generated will kill the bad nematodes. I got my information from the University of Florida in a document they created about bad nematodes, and I can put a link uh, in the description of this video. But they recommended that you till up the ground, which helps to get the nematodes to the surface, potentially aiding and getting rid of them. But not all the articles that I read recommended tilling up the ground. I decided that I wanted to do it because I want to get rid of them the first time around. Here's the bed I set up yesterday for solarization. And I think I need to maybe do a little better job sealing the plastic, even though it seems like it's working, it's got major condensation. I have been in the struggle with these bachelor buttons, I tell ya. I, I've just, you know, come to the conclusion that I need to pull them out and then they'll start doing something, they'll start performing, or have evidence that they're gonna perform, and I'll leave them alone. But I walked over this morning, and these were looking pretty sickly, uh, especially down here. And then I pulled this one out. A lot of them, the, well, even this one, and I saw the little telltale signs of you know like a little 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 nodules just starting to come and this one this one was very evident little nodules 
oops, sorry. I'm having a hard time looking at the plant and the camera and I don't have my glasses on, so. But those nodules on the roots are not supposed to be there. Because to me, gardening is a lot of experimentation, I wanted to do something different in this bed that also has bad nematodes. I want to just try improving the soil and not using solarization. That means I'm going to apply mulch and a special blend of amendments that I am purchasing from John and Bob's, and I'll provide a link in the description. They create soil amending products and have some very good educational videos on improving the soil. I'm going to apply the blend that they make, and there's just too much going on in this product to mention all of it, but it is supposed to optimize, maximize, and nourish biosoil, and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be putting it in all of my raised beds. So this is right up my alley right now, building soil, build the soil. Ugh. And I'm looking for the worm, the worm, red worm composting. That's what I want to, I want to create a worm. I don't know what they call it. I love this with Ruth Stout. I'm going to, I'm going to use some of her methods here too in my garden. So that's what I want. I want to convert organic matter into finished compost through a red worm farm. That is called vermiculture. And I want to make, I want to make one of these. I think I have enough red worms in my compost that I have now and my, the mulch that I have out there that I wouldn't need to buy any, because I think he said a pound. A pound can uh, reproduce to 1,500 in six months. Maybe even if you started with half a pound, but I'm gonna try to use what's on my property. I have a lot of worms. I see them all the time. Another thing that you're supposed to add to your worm farm or your worm bin is scraps, food scraps. Not meat and cheese and dairy, any of that kind of stuff, but like vegetable scraps. And I'm gonna totally kill it on that. Um, I have a pretty good program that I started for my chickens and my compost bin that I have in the yard where I always have a bowl. I actually bought this especially for uh, vegetable and fruit scraps. And it did have a lid, but the lid has since fallen and broken into too many pieces. But I usually have it very nearby. And as I'm chopping up and peeling vegetables and fruit, I just put it right into this. And then when this is full, I take it where I want it to go. So I've already started a little bit. I got some banana peels and some kiwi skin um, and then I have some mustard greens from my garden that are uh, they got freezer burnt. Uh, it is so hot but I am gonna go get some worms for this bin now. This left hand glove is doing nothing for me on account of I'm right handed. Look at that one. It's a big one. Wow, they're big over here. Real big. Now, this sweat is legit. Nice. 
so they are in here. I don't see any on top, but you know how earthworms are. I'm going to continue to add to it. I, as I find earthworms around when I'm gardening, which I do all the time, I'm going to keep putting them in this bin. I'm going to keep putting food scraps, veg and fruit only scraps in it, and we'll see what happens. Good morning, Helen. Good morning. What are your plans today? Here's your food, girl. Not hungry? That's weird. Chickens are always hungry. What do you want from me, Helen? You want out? You want to do something different today? I think you might want a friend today. Yeah, I think you might want a friend. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll work on it. 